friends and welcome to this video on SIPOC. So what is SIPOC? SIPOC stands for Suppliers Inputs, Process, Outputs and Customers. Uh, SIPOC is tool that has organi uh, organizations to understand the various elements that are involved in a process and how they relate to each other. Uh, the first element of uh, SIPOC is suppliers. These are the individuals uh, or organizations that provide the inputs needed for the process to take place. Suppliers could be internal or external to the organization and they could be individuals, departments, or even other organizations. The second element is inputs. Inputs are the materials, resources, and information that are required for the process to function. They could include raw materials, equipment, and uh, software, or even data. The third element is process. This is the actual a set of activities that are carried out to transform the inputs into the desired outputs. The process could be a simple or complex series of steps and it could involve multiple individuals or teams. The first element is outputs. These are uh, the tangible or intangible results that are produced by the process. Outputs could include physical products, services, or even information. The final element is customers. These are individuals or groups who receive the outputs of the process. Customers could be internal or external to the organization, and they could be individuals or organizations. Uh, let's start by looking at an example of a SIPOC diagram. So let's say uh, that we are looking at the process of manufacturing uh, a product. The suppliers in this case might include the raw materials that are needed to make the product such as plastic, metal, or electronic components. The input inputs could include things like machines, labor or energy, the process would involve the various uh, steps that are required to transform the raw materials into a finished uh, product, such as molding, casting, uh, and assembly. The output would be the actual finished products themselves, uh, which could be anything from toys, electronics, uh, to our two mobiles, and the final and finally the customers would be uh, the individuals or organization who purchase the finished products another example of a SIPOC diagram might be for a service based process such as providing customer support uh, the suppliers in this case might include technology and software needed to Manage customer support requests. The inputs could include things like customer inquiries, customer data, and product information. The process would inform the various steps needed to address customer concerns, such as answering questions, uh, troubleshooting problems, and providing solutions. The outputs would be uh, the satisfy uh, customers who have had their concerns addressed. And finally, the customers would be the individuals who have requested the support and received uh, satisfactory solutions. By using SIPOC diagrams, organizations can gain a better understanding of their processes and identify areas for improvement. For example, they might identify ways to improve the quality of their inputs 
streamline their process or increase customer satisfaction. Thank you for your listening.